Well, we are now well into the first year of the Affordable Care Act. The number of Americans uninsured is decreasing, and businesses are pretty much learning the ropes of the program. So, are the big bumps all worked out? Let's talk with Kay Bromley. She runs the company, Your Obamacare Advisors, which helps businesses comply with Obamacare, and she's written some books on this subject. Kay, it all started with that glitch-ridden website, the country now preparing for the second open enrollment. How smoothly are things going? Bill, this is really crunch time for business owners. Last year, they had kind of an excuse because we didn't really know what was happening. But now they've had an extra year to comply. And so I've seen a lot of business owners that are ready and they know what they're going to do next year. And business owners that are not taking this seriously are going to have some more glitches because this is the time they have to be in compliance by January 1st, 2015. And I know some of the mistakes that they tend to make can be very costly for them. Absolutely. Just the, the A penalty, we refer to it as the A penalty alone. If a large employer doesn't offer insurance at all to their, their full-time employees and even just one employee goes to the insurance exchange and gets a subsidy, that employee could pay $2,000, the employer could pay $2,000 for every single full-time employee, even employees that they are offering insurance. So that can be a huge catastrophic penalty and it's really not that difficult to plan and avoid that penalty. Is that typically the kind of mistakes businesses make? What are some others? So some others are maybe only getting their advice from one source. So if you're getting your advice only from, say, your insurance broker and your insurance broker has a vested interest in selling you one particular type of insurance and that insurance might not be the best insurance for you, that's a big mistake. You should be looking at all of your options. As a business owner, it's very important to educate yourself and then get advice from other people, but then make the right decision that is best for your company. Because you're an insider here, do you think that most businesses will not be able to, will there be a lot of violations occurring this second year? I think there's going to be a massive amount of violations, unfortunately. I think partly because a lot of business owners have had this false sense of calm and they think that it's never going to be implemented or it's going to keep being delayed, so they're just not paying attention to it. And I think with the IRS reporting, even what the IRS has reported to us, how they're going to report, I think across the board, every employer should be prepared for an audit and should be prepared to be wrongly assessed penalties because there's just no way for them to track properly the, the penalties and the people that are going on the exchanges. Kay Bromley, thank you so much. Thank you.